patient underwent flat foot reconstruction uh, two and a half years ago by a different provider. Uh, as we can see, the forefoot and the hind foot are completely not aligned. Uh, we can see how the ankle is moving forward. I'm not sure from your direction if you guys can see it, as well as the knees, how they're rotating and compensating due to the tight Achilles, as well as the whole structure above. The arch is collapsing, as we can clearly see. Furthermore, the enlarged navicular was truly never addressed. As we can see the prominence, the posterior tibial tendon needs to be reattached properly with removal of that enlargement of the bone. The hind foot has to be addressed with lengthening and a bone graft and the Achilles need to be lengthened. The whole structure has to be redone as we can see. And we looking at the x-rays, we can see the calcaneal inclination, which is right below the hardware. It's parallel to the ground and we can see the sustentaculum tali in regards to the relation of the talus, not an alignment, it's called escaping. I'm not sure why they chose to fuse the metatarsal cuneiform, and we can still see the supinatus on the x-ray. That should not be as such. And they did a rotation of the calcaneus. When we look at the AP view, kite's angle is extremely high. We can see the cyma line, called an anterior break in the cyma line, which is the two lines uh, if I may point to them, which is this one and that one it's called a break in the cyma line. They should be a lazy S formation. And you can see the midfoot as well as the calcaneal cuboid angle, how it's drifting outwards. So mid tarsals are going abduction and the forefoot in regards to the hind foot is not aligned. Uh, that needs to be readdressed. So in a nutshell, uh, this person will require the hardware removal along the distal calcaneus and realigning the cyma line with a bone graft. And uh, the concerns are upon removal of the screw, upon lengthening, there could be complications such as breaking the, uh, the bone distally. And so the patient is aware of calcaneal cuboid fusion in, in addition. Uh, to the proposed as we discussed and also the medial column need to be readdressed and the, the Achilles for the sagittal motion and deformity in that plane. So that's basically it. Thank you.